Hey guys, welcome to another video with me, a lot of pink. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to do these four easy tumbler effects. So the first one will be the 3D, then we have the pale, and then we have the colored, and the last one will be the Nashville effect. And I'm pretty sure it's from Instagram. So first you're gonna open your Photoshop and right here I'm just gonna show you the before and after stuff like that <laughs> so you know what the original picture looks like and yeah you're gonna get your image actually this is my original image and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your crop tool and I cropped this part just to accent the picture or something just to add more drama to it if you will um, so yeah I'm just gonna crop the side or go crop the head or we crop vertically or horizontally I don't know just crop it okay first you're gonna go control J then you're gonna go to image adjustments then black and white so you're gonna adjust the red one or you could go control shift view and desaturate the picture but I like this one better there's only a slight difference so it doesn't matter that much so you're gonna go right click and you're gonna go duplicate the layer then right click blending options then you're gonna uncheck the R like what I'm doing right now then press OK so now you're gonna Press the, the left arrow on your keyboard just to move the picture and you're gonna have this cool 3D effect and I'm just gonna erase some part that looks weird and yeah okay so for the pale effect you're gonna create a new layer then you're gonna get your paint bucket tool right here then you're gonna fill it with white so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the opacity first. So it will and I'm going to put it up on 30. You could adjust it the way that you want it to. Then you're going to go to windows, make sure the adjustments is checked like so. And then you're going to open levels. And then you're going to get this middle one and you're going to drag it to the left like so like yeah just follow me and then you're gonna go to brightness and contrast and you're gonna lower the contrast to negative 40 for the coloring you're gonna create a new layer then we're gonna get the paint bucket tool you're gonna fill the image with a color that will pretty much complement your image like so like so <laughs> and then you're gonna set the blending mode to multiply and you can you're supposed to make at least two so it will blend nicely and put those on multiply too and for the black you can put it on multiply so what you're gonna do okay what am I doing okay so for the black one you're gonna lower the opacity instead of putting it on multiply, like so. This is pretty much what you do, and it's the simplest one of all. So yeah, the green didn't work for me, so. Okay, so for the natural effect, you're gonna open your adjustments again. Then you're gonna go to levels, click the drop down box, select blue. And then on the output levels, you're gonna put it around 130, or just type in 130, which one, whichever fits your image the best. And as you can see, it will appear bluish. Next, you're gonna go to curves, and you're gonna click here and type in 0 and 38 on the output, like so. Next, you're gonna create your second point, and then you're gonna put, type in 70 on the input, 
1075 on the output like so. Okay, so the last one will be 161 to 190. You're going to create your third dot. You create your third dot like this. You're going to type in the input to 161 and your output to 190. I mean curves, and then you're going to create a new layer. And then you're going to select a salmon color, or you could use the hex code that will appear on your screen. Then use your paint bucket tool to fill in the layer and then put it on multiply. Like so. You could also lower the opacity if you want to. Great, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed or if you learned something or you're just entertained by it. And please do comment down below what do you want to see in the next video so I know what you guys want to see. So yeah, and if you're not yet subscribed, be sure to hit subscribe. So, bye guys!